welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Let's Demo Lagron Legacy. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and the, in the last episode we were bought by an old man named Ghetto who wants to use us as a guard after he saw us defeat a big gladiator in the Colosseum. Uh, we defeated the Colosseum with the magic power that we're not in control of. Come ride a rum gosh for 50 dinar! Okay, no thanks. I'm sorry, the inn is full right now. Come back later. Okay. What do you need, fighter, maid, or spouse? You sell girls too? If old women are what you called girls, yes I do. Hmm, I think. I'll just take the fighters. So it's a slave's market, I guess. I hate this, hmm. I want to return back to Gorias, the great city of Ariman, but I got exiled. I should have not stole all those coin pouches. Nope, you probably shouldn't have. Welcome to Telharan. Come, come, we can prepare you for the most luxurious place to spend the night. But for a moment, we are under construction. Please come again later. Fine, fine, fine. Everything ready? Yes, Master Ghetto. But I got the equipment for free. What did you do to earn such privilege? I just helped the blacksmith to look for something. Now put the put on what the blacksmith gave you. This armor set looks precious to be worn by a slave like me, master. Do you think I really deserve it? I paid the man so that I can have you to be my god. There's no way you can help me venturing and fighting the danger when you're naked, right? There's no way you can help me venture and fend off the danger when you're naked, right? Uh, uh, why did I just say that twice? Uh, I'm sorry, I... I really don't know anything uh, anything what we are about to face, Master. I hope you can forgive my ignorance. Quite a few typos so far. Missing words and we we equip the blade set. Well, how does it feel? It fits perfectly. Thank you very much, Master. Very well. Then we're, we're good to go. Uh, Master, the blacksmith told me something. What is it, boy? Uh, he said that Rahas Desert is very dangerous. We should take the Gorias route instead. He said it was a far farther, but s way safer. It's safer way to find Shapur. Yes, he's right. But there's no more time to waste, boy. Now, let's get going. <sighs> then your wish is my command, master. Oh, here, master. What is it, boy? Uh, the money you gave me. Keep it. You might need it sooner or later. Are you sure, sir? I can't thank you, I th can't thank you enough for this. It's okay, boy. Come, let us move now. And we got a thousand dinar. And Ghetto joined the party. Nice. With a little joining music. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. He joined the party. I'm very happy. Do they follow you when you're on the map? They do not. Now, do we have equipment now? We do not. And what does Ghetto have? Uh, he doesn't have any attributes to assign yet. Uh, does he have equipped spells? Looks like he does. And they're all equipped. We got a fireball. Uh, close a single enemy in the bubble. We've got a lightning strike. And we've got to cast a rock bash to destroy a row. Nice. I like when games have rows and columns. It makes it as a like an element of strategy to games. And he looks blind. Is he blind? So none of these people will talk to us. But maybe we can get a ride on these things. 50 dinars doesn't seem like that much. Oh, well, I'm going to go back to the market. Um, for the simple reason that maybe we can buy better swords or we'll buy some potions and stuff. You still need anything, lad? Well, yeah, kind of. Alright, so I'm not going to buy uh, crossbones, but I am uh, because, well, they're expensive. But I'm going to buy maybe a couple of these. Oh, there you go. Did I just buy two? I own two. Okay. And maybe one of these. Uh, what's going on here? Why? I'm not actually... Oh, whoops. So there we'll buy... There you go. Check out. There you go. Maybe it was unnecessary, but you can never be too careful, right? And how about we go... Um, well, I'll just go to the entrance here, and I'm going to save. Because I'm paranoid. On the second slot. And... We can just go back here to the new world map. Ooh, nice. So Tel Haran, the capital of slavers in the Targan continent. Citizens of Tel Haran have been practicing slavery since the city's founding. Their main entertainment involves slaves fighting each other to the death in the blood arena. 
Whoops, I did not mean to go there. I meant to actually just walk around. Will there be random battles? I'm not sure. Oh, uh, the Rahas Desert. Despite being a shorter route between Tel Haran and Shapur, Rahas Desert is notorious for its combination of extreme heat, savage scavengers, and merciless bandits Ram Pox. Not many who traverse this desert live to tell the tale. Well, let's just explore a little bit. We might try and convince our good friend uh, Ghetto to take a different path, but he won't be bothered, I think. So, we can't, so let's just keep going this way then. To Rahas Desert. So this is Rahas Desert. It's blazing hot! Yes, it is, and we can't stay here for too long. The heat will slowly kill us. Take these bloodstone shards and crossbone. They will help you survive the desert. So we got through bloodstone, well, maybe we didn't have to buy them after all, and one crossbone, so we didn't have to buy one either, because he, he gave one to us. What are those? Clouders. You don't need to worry about those. They won't get to us. Why so? Clouders are scavengers. They only eat corpses and carcasses. So unless we're dead, I'll try my best not to, uh, sir. Let's hurry then, Master Ghetto. Good boy. Let's move us. Let us move. Tutorial. In the world map or towns, you can save anywhere. In dungeons, you can only save where there is no enemy. Save areas are indicated with a save icon at the top right corner of the screen. Dungeons in Lagran are filled with traps. These traps will harm the party if triggered. Pay attention to the character's surroundings and information told by others. For example, the scorching heat in Rahas Desert will gradually decrease the party's HP indicated by a flashing red screen. Okay, that's good to know. So, we can save here by the icon. Oh, but that means that we are taking damage right now. So, I guess we'll have to hurry up. Boy, you look like you could use some guidance in battle. Here, I'll teach you what to do when facing some monsters. Tutorial again. Lagran is filled with lingering dead spirits in the form of black orbs. You'll have to fight these monsters if you encounter them. If Finn encounters these enemies from behind enemies, uh, behind, enemies will not be able to act during the first turn. If enemies encounter Finn from behind, players will, players party will not be able to act during the first turn. So we can surprise them. <gasps> oh god. Okay, so we couldn't move, so this was a faded, uh, uh, battle. So, m -m monsters don't, don't don't worry master I, I I will protect you Calm down boy So a John is a strong enemy you can't find that monster with your sword you can't fight it but What then how are we supposed to kill it I know a way come cover me boy Don't worry master you're safe with me So tutorial again uh, you can move characters to the front or back party members in front will incur more damage than those at the back Characters at the back can only be attacked if enemies use certain special ability, abilities or if the front characters are down. Oh, that's cool. Uh, melee characters cannot use attacks if they are positioned at the back. That makes sense. So, we're going to use, I guess... Oh, what is he trying to make us do? He wants us to move. But I want to... I wanted to actually just use my attacks. And he wants to do what? Guard. Okay, we'll guard. Here you go. Oh, that was poor. I wasn't ready, guys. I'm sorry. Ooh, I, oh my god. I overshot it because, uh... And what's the trick, Master? I'm an idiot. I got... I freaked out because I missed the first time. You gotta really pay attention, which is kind of cool. It's not necessarily a cakewalk. Feel the elements around you, boy. I... I don't get it, Master. Just clear your mind and learn your enemy. I'll show you how it works, but you need to protect me. All right, Master. Okay, boy, watch this. Please, Faster, can you call me Finn? Okay, every character in enemy has one init, attack type, and element. So we have Slash, Impact, and Pierce. All oh, those icons make a lot of sense. I like it. And so then we got elemental types. We got Fire, Earth, Thunder, Water. So Fire is good against Earth. Earth is good against Thunder. Thunder is good against Water. And Water is good against Fire. Uh, air is neutral. Darkness and Light seems to be interchangeable. Not sure what that means. Exploit the enemy's weakness by executing the right attack type or grimoire, uh, grimoire element. Uh, enemy weapon type is slash and air or lightning in that case. Uh, and character element, okay, right now is fire and I believe water. So enemy element and their attack element, book, uh, element, I like that. 
Normal attacks are executed immediately, however, Grimoire require channeling, hence, uh, hence will be casted after normal attacks. Grimoires do not cost anything to cast. All Grimoire attacks have elemental properties, Grimoire require channeling, and units can get interrupt interrupted more easily during channeling. Well, that's freaking awesome. There's no MP in, in this game. So let's use, I'm assuming... Oh, he wants us to use... No, I'm gonna use... Uh, fire, because fire... No, wait, he has fire. So let's go back. Um, I'm assuming earth might... No, fire was good against earth. Earth was good against... Th I think lightning might be good against... No. I think bubble might be good against this thing. Yeah, so let's do water against... I think water makes sense, right? And we'll just do a regular attack. No, he wants us to guard. Okay, that's fine. Reflect. Ooh, good enough. I freak out because I keep looking at the uh, arrow and then I forget to see. Ooh, good enough. 120. It hit him anyway. What, what, what was that, master? It's called Grimoire. Can I do that too? Can I use Grimoire too, master? Of course, everyone can. You just need to practice a little. It's not that difficult. Sure, master. I'll keep practicing so that I will be able to protect you throughout this journey. <laughs> I like your spirit, boy. All right, so we can fight this guy, right? So let's do a Grimoire. He is Earth. Is he Earth? Yeah, he's Earth. I think fire is good against Earth. So we'll do fire. And I'm going to do a regular attack this time. Because why not? Bam. That's just a good. Nothing great. 13 damage. Oh, and we interrupted him. Boom. Good. Not perfect. I'm going to need a lot of practice. There we go. And what do we get here? We got some... We got heal target column loots. Okay. What's that? So we get to choose a column that gets a heal. And we got some XP there. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's... Aw, oh, man. I hope that wasn't a surprise attack. So, all right. Grimoire. How about some bubble on the first one? And you can't do a Grimoire yet, so you just attack on the second one. Right? I think that should be enough. Ah, uh, just a good attack. Good. Ooh, there you go. Oh, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to freaking do my, uh, change my positions and stuff. For more water on this guy, and how about you, uh, move right in front of him? I can't. Alright, just attack then. Ooh, good. Yes. Ooh, good too. Ugh. Oh, man. I wasn't paying attention. Not as easy as you think, I think. Uh, okay, so let's... Uh, no, no, no. It's, we got plenty of health. Let's just get it over with. And you attack too. Ooh, perfect. Nice. We interrupted him. Ooh, and that was a lot of damage too. Perfect. All right, we're going to adjust our party uh, our party there. All right, so where... How do I... There you go. Formation. Um, oh, that's because they attacked us from the side, isn't it? What the heck? Alright, so we're good. I'm assuming there's going to be something on that skeleton. Oh, we're getting hurt by... No! Let's avoid this quicksand if we can. There we go. We got a bloodstone shard. And I don't think it's doing that much damage to us. Let's try and attack him from behind. Yes! Perfect to Mondo. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, Paralyzed. Why are we not in our, our... I don't understand why we're not in our formation. So this thing is a lightning. I think Earth is good against lightning. So I'm going to do Earth attack on this thing. And we're just going to do a regular attack here. So... Ah, good but not perfect. Ooh, perfect! Yes! Bam! 500 and dead! Good stuff. I want to see a level up, see what it does. And we got Lightning Grimoire. I don't know what that means. Let's look what it does. Can we... Is it something you learn? Uh, inventory. 
Uh, lightning shaped item used as a mixture to produce magical items with elemental power. Okay, so it's something you use in battle. I like it. We'll wait till this thing turns around. Got a crossbow in here. Come on, turn around. Yes. Bam! Are we in our... And we're still not in our freaking... Uh, we'll do another earth and a regular attack again. Uh, the attack is quicker, I think, than the spell, is it? Ah, uh, it wasn't perfect, but it's still good. I'm happy with it. And he's still dead, so it's not a big deal. Man, I can't believe how good these graphics are for a freaking indie team. I mean, I get that the backgrounds aren't, aren't, aren't all finished, and even if they stayed at this quality, I think I'd be okay with it. And the only thing that bugs me here is that I would like to toggle on, like, where we're allowed to... What? What is that? <clears throat> what? What is what, boy? <clears throat> Master Ghetto! <clears throat> what is it? What's wrong? <clears throat> Monster! What? Monster? I thought I just saw giant wings. Where? Up there, in the sky. Mm, I see nothing, boy. You must have been mistaken. But, 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 but it was enormous. How, how could you miss it? Really? Hmm, I think the desert heat is starting to consume your mind. We should hurry. Yes, indeed. And what's this thing? Is that a safe spot? Now that is that sight is a relief. What are those lights, Master Ghetto? Go ahead and touch it. I did. I, uh, feel refreshed? That is a pure energy leaking from Lagrand itself. Leaking? That doesn't sound good. It is good for us, but not for Lagrand. It wasn't always like this. What causes it? The Great War. It toppled the balance of the universe. What? What would it? What war could ever do that? It was a full-scale assault against our universe, boy. But we don't have time to discuss it now. But if it has been leaking, shouldn't anyone do something about it? Maybe for now. We should just utilize its benefits and get going. Remember. Every time you feel weak or exhausted, you just have to find this light. It will help you regain your strength. I understand, sir. All right. So, uh, I think we can save here. So that's what I'm going to do just now. Um, I don't think we've gained a level. And it doesn't seem like you gain money from... Um, from battles. Because I'm, I'm still at 200 dinars. Oh, well. Taking a little bit of damage still, but not that much. And let's try and get ourselves an... Ooh, go, 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 get out of here. Ooh, yes. All right. So another one of these things. Now, pretty sure I can just do a water bubble on the front guy here. He's paralyzed. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to use... Um, I think it was lightning that's strong on a... No. Fire is good against earth. Sorry, it's hard to remember. I should print out that thing. Fire on that one, and I'm going to attack the front one. No need to defend right now at the beginning. Alright, a perfect! Ooh, I'm pretty sure that was a... Ooh, two perfects in a row. Man, we're on fire. Man, that thing's dead for sure. I don't think I need to use a Grimoire on this guy, but just in case, let's just use the water, the bubble prison, and then let's just do an attack. Good. Boom. Good as well. Ooh, we couldn't quite defend against it, but we didn't take that much damage. And awesomely enough, we got some attribute points. We got three, actually. All right, let's check out if we have an item here. What's this heal a column thing? Oh, okay, so this is an item for healing. I'm okay with that. And let's go level up, actually. So strength would be nice. Let's bring it up to 13. Uh, what just happened? Oops, okay, I just brought it up by accident. So, by bringing it up to 13, we get a Heat Slash, which would be kind of nice. And Vitality, what does that do? I mean, you're going to want a little bit of everything, right? Like, this brings up your... This brings up your speed, your critical chance. This brings up your magical tech. Luck doesn't seem to do anything. Um, I'm going to bring up Strength by a couple... I am going to bring up a little bit of vitality, and since we're going to need an intelligence for what heat arc, that could come in handy. I don't know what. I, there's a lot of these things. Check grimoire. 
Oh, okay. Heat arc. Slash a row of foes with a heated blade. So yeah, let's just start doing that slowly. Uh, slight increased strength by 10%. Oh, that's actually really good. And moderate strength at 35 still. Okay, so we are going to upgrade all of these for now. Let's confirm that. Yep. We learn heat slash. And we're going to equip it right away. Because... Oh, it's already equipped. Good. And let's go fight something. Ooh, oh my god. Can we not fall in this, please? Ugh. Let's try and get out. Come on. Come on. Three bloodstone shards. Come on. It's getting warm here. I don't want to die too much, but I would like that thing to turn around. Uh, that's good enough for me. Ah, oh, it turned towards us. Oh well. Just more of these guys. Let's use a uh, bubble prison on the front guy. And I'm going to try and interrupt him. Yeah, let's not waste too much time on... Ooh, good. Yes. What? Ooh. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. That's why. Well, we managed to kill this. Oh, that's poor. Of course that's poor. 86. Ouch. Yes, I'm going to use... Uh, what was it? Fire on this guy? And actually, he's going to be Fire Slash, right? So why not? Good, but not great. Oh, well, he was trying to use <laughs> Slash and nothing, but he was already dead. Thankfully, didn't cause some sort of error. Ooh, that could have been bad. And we... Oh, he gained a level too. Nice. All right, let's go and level them up. Uh, what would... What the heck? Okay, let's see here. It doesn't seem like anything will teach him anything, so let's up a little bit of health. Let's bring up his his uh, his intelligence by a lot, though. Yes, I'm yes, I'm okay with that. Let's move on. Uh, wait, yeah, okay. I just want to make sure he didn't have attributes left. Remedy shard. Just checking real quick that these floating things aren't something that's important. Let's go attack this guy before it turns around, please. Yes. Okay, so, okay, there's two of them. I'm pretty sure the Grimoire, I can do lightning on these things. No, they are lightning, so I think... Oh, boy, it's hard to... I think Earth is good against lightning. Was it water? Yeah, I think it might be this. Gosh, it's... I'm gonna do Earth, just in case. And you know what? Let's do a little heat slash on the other one. Ah, wasn't good enough. Heat slash! 108. Nah, that's definitely not great. Oh, I hit, hit both of them. I'm okay with that. Um, but I don't think it was strong against them, was it? Their lightning. Fire is good against earth. Oh, man, I really wish I remembered. And just to be safe... Let's just do a regular attack, because... Ooh, that was too quick. Good. Oof. We weren't interrupted. Man, I'm really sucking at these timed attack things. But I like that it's hard, because if it's not, then you just end up cakewalking through the whole thing. So we got a Lightning Grimoire and Nectar Balanth. And we almost gained a level for our good friend, uh... Uh, Finn. So I'm happy about all of this so far. It's getting dark. Let's take a rest first. But you said we need to get to Shapur as fast as... Rahas is even more dangerous at night. I won't risk it. Rushing headlong without planning won't do us any good. We have to stop now. Then where should we be staying for the night, sir? Search the, that cave, would you? Make sure it's clear. Uh, all right, sir. Am I by myself? I think it's safe for us to stay, sir. Very well, boy. Your wound, it will get infected. I'm okay, master. It's just... It might be old, but I'm no fool. You can't lie to me. It's just a small wound, sir. This is bad. It will get infected if it remains untreated. Drink this and do not spill it. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, what? What is this? It tastes like... Like no words can describe, I know how it tastes. It's made of my... Nope, nope. 
Now, sit still for a while, would you? Just let it work. That was... What was that, Master? I can't feel my wounds anymore. Manga Gadu, a rare herb. It's not a simple cure. It restores your life force, regenerates broken tissues, gives immunity to diseases, and even enhances your strength. I went far north to find it. Is it okay to use such magnificent herb on me, Master? I mean, it's... It's... Don't fret, boy. I merely use a small amount of it. Besides, you need to regain your strength so that we can finish the remaining half of our journey. This herb is the reason why we're rushing. My daughter, Eris, she is very sick, you see. This herb is the only thing that can keep her well. You have a daughter, Master Ghetto? Yes, my only daughter. She... she means the world to me. So this journey, it's to save your daughter. Are you disappointed? Master Ghetto, every single life is precious and it's not my place to question your motive. You gave me freedom. No need is comparable to, to such. And I won't let your money go to waste over a half-witted slave. Ha ha ha! You silly boy! Why do you think, still think you are a slave? Well, you bought me, Master Ghetto. I serve you now. I didn't buy you, I freed you. What? I don't understand. You have never been my slave to begin with. Soon after we reach the poor, you are free to go. I'm old. I don't need you to follow me to my grave. But I guided you out of Tel Haran because if you had stayed there, you'll just be a slave forever. I do really need your help accompanying me along this journey, but after that, I will just let you find a place that is worth living. I... I don't understand. You saved me just because you think that's a, that, that I'm worthy of more? The first time I saw you, I had noticed that the air around you is different. I soon knew no cruelty in you, boy. That is why I chose to free you. Sing through a person, do you have such ability too? No, 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 no. This time it's just intuition. Well, I'm grateful to be on this journey with you, Master Ghetto. I have an opportunity to see the world now. So what do you think about the world, boy? It's quite pretty to me. I, I believe there is much to see as we venture forth. That's all thanks to you, sir. Oh, the world might be a pretty be pretty boy, but it hides its foulest mien. Uh, as you proceed on, it will slowly be revealed to you. But I think it's only a matter of perspective, sir. We will only find evil if we are to seek them. Hmm, interesting perspective. Where did you learn that from? I don't know. Intuition? Ha ha ha! Good one, boy. A bit of a smartass, but I like that. You've got spirit. Well, now your intuition has revealed something good to you. Never forget to share this, per this per perspective of yours. Will do, and I will always be at your service, Master Ghetto. Not again, boy. You don't owe me nothing. You said I am free, right? Indeed. That means I am free to do what I wish, and I wish to serve and protect you. Young man, sooner or later you will have to make your own decision. I will think about that after we reach Shapur. You sure are a good boy, aren't you? I know this is a bit late, but what's your name, boy? It's Finn, Master Ghetto. I think. You don't sound so sure, boy. How intriguing. Well then, where are you from? I... I don't know, Master. Uh, honestly, Master, I've been asking the same questions to myself for a long time. As far as I can remember, I woke up in Tel Haran with no memory... Save my name. Excuse me. As I promised, I will try to figure out something out for you. Care to find out? Of course. Then show me your hand. Blood is spilling out of my hand. I can see something. Images. Is this from my past? What's, what's this? No? I'm no longer in the desert. No! The red echelon still needs me! Oh. What's this? I saw images. Maybe something from your past. You know what it was? I don't know, but everything seems familiar. Finn Oster. What? That's the only thing I got from your memory fragments. Your middle name is Oster. Finn Oster? That's my name? Better than nothing, right? 
Thank you so much, Master, but what's wrong, boy? Will I ever get my memories back, sir? Memories almost always come and go, boy. Don't worry, I'm, sh I'm sure you will. If you keep finding something that reminds you of who you were, I understand, sir. I don't know how to thank you. Ha! No need to. Now let's call it a day and get ourselves some sleep. And don't forget to put out the fire. We do not want to attract rampox, do we? Yes, you surely need some rest, sir. I will stay for a while and make sure nothing will get us in our sleep. And there's the end music, or the sleep music. It's needed in a good JRPG. You can't go, uh, you can't go without it. This game really cut no corners. At least not so far. The sun is rising. We will leave as soon as the sun reaches our skin. Um, are those letters, Master? Yes, for Eris, my daughter. How are you going to deliver them? I don't need to. This here is an old technology. She can hear whatever I write. But how could you two communicate directly with the letter? Norns are always bounded to each other, boy. Moreover, we are bound by blood. And we always consider open communication is one of the most important things we should continue pursuing. So, we invented many ways to make communication easier either between Norn or with others. It's very interesting. So it's, so it's like how you are talking to me inside my head? Yes, but with this letter she can hear me no matter how far we are from one another. I see, you're always full of surprises, Master. Yes, Lice is full of them, isn't it? But actually, I don't know what a Norn is, Master. Mind telling you what it is, or rather, who they are? Oh my goodness, enough with the exposition. It's a long story for such a short time, but all I can tell you is that Norn is a race. Another thing to learn from you. Thank you, Master Ghetto. Now let's get everything ready. Well, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, in the next episode, we'll continue our journey towards... Um, towards uh where are we going shapur shakur shapur we're gonna continue our journey to shapur and uh maybe it'll be the end, the end of the demo i'm not sure so as always i am your host mr gazillion thank you so much for watching liking subscribing and commenting let me know what you think of lagrand Le legacy whether you've backed the project whether you've played the demo let me know what you think of it and i will see you all next time bye